SBR Forum's Punters is brought to you by Bookmaker. Viewing week eight in college football here at SBR Forum Videos, I'm Peter Loshak, and we are talking right now with very special returning guest, Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Steve, thanks for being here once again. Thank you for having me once again, Peter. All right, the first game you want to talk about, it's a huge game. It's the Thursday night game between Oregon and Arizona State. Now, last year in our videos, you had a great read on all these uh, midweek uh, Pac-12 games. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited to see what you have to say here. Uh, Oregon is a 9.5-point road favorite, down from about 10.5, which might be a little bit surprising to some. Um, the total is 68 and a half. So when I look at this game, the first thing I think is that the, that side in total implies an Oregon team total of 39, which seems very low to me. They've scored at least 42 in every game this year. And even in this matchup with Arizona State, they've scored at least 41 over the last four uh, matchups. So I'm thinking if I was going to bet this game right now, if that team total held, I would pound the uh, Oregon over 39. Uh, what side do you like here or total? Okay, I, I like Arizona State here. Hmm. And wow. I think once we're done talking about this, you will come to the same conclusion with me. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right. We talked about this last year, but I'm continuing this thread of Thursday night college football games on ESPN. Right. So for seven seasons, we've been tracking this. The home team against the spread is 58 and 41. So let's start there with Thursday night ESPN home team. It fits perfectly into that classic formula that ESPN really likes and that uh, bettors on those home dogs should like. The higher-ranked team goes on the road to play a good team, but not as good if they're playing at a neutral site. On a Thursday night on ESPN, public bets that, that favorite heavily. That's exactly what's going on here. The home dog covers the spread. That's what typically happens. Right. This season, we've already seen a few like scenarios. Utah covered versus USC. Washington won and covered versus Stanford. Vanderbilt covered versus South Carolina. All Thursday night ESPN games fitting this scenario perfectly. Oregon has only played one away game this season, and that was a neutral site game versus Washington State. So they are going into Tempe where they're calling for a blackout there. They're going to have the black unis, probably going to be a sold-out game. Sun Devil Stadium gets as loud as any stadium in the Pac-12. This year, in the Sun Devils' three home games, Arizona State is plus six in that all-important turnover margin. In the last four seasons, this is sort of the Todd Graham as head coach effect that he's had on Arizona State. In aggregate, Arizona State, the last four seasons, they're the most penalized team in the FBS. This year, with Todd Graham as head man, in a remarkable turnaround, Arizona State is the sixth least penalized team in the FBS. Since Chip Kelly has been head coach at Oregon, when Oregon's defense has allowed seven or more yards per pass attempt, the Ducks are three and eight against the spread. This year, Arizona State is averaging 9.4 yards per pass attempt. In the last three seasons, Arizona State is 3-0-1 oh, against the spread versus ranked teams in Tempe. Since 2005, when Arizona State is a double-digit home dog, Arizona State is 3-0 and against the spread. Since 2003, when Arizona State at home gets less than 30% of the public betting, like they're getting here, it's around 25%. They're 5-2-1 and against the spread. Since Chip Kelly has been head coach at Oregon, in away games, when they're getting more than 70% of the public betting action like they are here, they are 3-4 and against the spread. And finally, in our power ratings, Oregon should not be favored by any more than eight points. So despite the, the heavy betting on Oregon, and as you said, the opening line was 10 and a half, the line still dropped. So we're seeing reverse line movement, another good sign that ASU is the right side. And by the way, on the board right now, you can get ASU plus 10. Wow. I'll tell you, when we were just like three or four minutes ago, we started this call. Right before you went on that spiel, I did not think that you were going to make an argument that convinced me. But that is so true. 75% of the public is, is on Oregon, and yet the line has gone down. Is that right? That is correct. That's how we're seeing it. God, and, you know, and that, 
There's a, reason, there's a reason that these public traps are public traps because it's so compelling. I mean, the thing is like, you know, if Oregon was going into some like other kind of climate or a rainy, you know, uh, uh, situation or something, it might be a little bit different, but they're, you know, it's gonna be beautiful weather in Arizona, plays right into Oregon's strength, with, which is their speed. Uh, they've blown them out in all their past four meetings, but yeah, everything you just said makes a lot of sense. So you don't think that Oregon has like, you know, a notch talent uh, level above Arizona State that will just eventually come out, uh, you know, by the end of the fourth quarter? You know, Arizona State, what people have maybe ignored this year, is they have the number eight total defense in the country against FBS competition. And even though you might argue, well, Arizona State hasn't played anyone really outside of Missouri at Missouri, well, Oregon has truly played no one. They have something like the 93rd uh, ranked strength of schedule that they played so far. Arizona State's is at least in the 70s. So, and again, Oregon has not gone on the, on the road except in a neutral site game. So they're going to be tested big time. And, and let's not forget, they have, a, they have a new starting quarterback in Marcus Mariota, who you know I'm very high on him. But we're going to see him tested in a hostile environment on Thursday night on ESPN. Wow. Well, Steve, there's a reason why you're Steve from collegefootballwinning.com and we're just guys with accounts at Bodog who still haven't been kicked off the square line set. So, you know, that man, we'll see. If, if Arizona State covers this, I will be very impressed. I will say classic Steve from collegefootballwinning.com analysis and prediction. Thanks, man. I'm very curious to see what happens. Thank you.